on to yeah. you. Um, so hopefully you will enjoy this next film we watched. Well, yes, because today we have heard that Snoopy has been inducted into the Hollywood Walk oh. of Fame. So we thought tonight we'd look at how one of our favourite animal characters was created. The Hundred Acre Wood is the setting of endless childhood adventures. Hunting for honey. Hiding from heffalumps. And endless games of poo sticks. The imagery of Winnie the Pooh is instantly recognisable thanks to the illustrations created by artist E.H. Shepherd that transported generations of children to a land of wonder, innocence and play. Shepard made his name with his charming and nostalgic depictions of Milne's childhood classic. But before children's stories, Shepard had illustrated a far darker subject. The artist had served in the First World War and he took his sketch pad with him. Many of his drawings of the front line have never been seen by the public before. But now they've been brought together for a new exhibition at the House of Illustration Gallery in London. James Campbell is author of the book Shepherd's War and head of the E.H. Shepherd Trust. Shepherd had a tough war. He served on the front line. He saw a lot of his colleagues killed and injured. His only brother was killed on the Somme. And we think that when he came back home, he just packed everything up, all the drawings, the sketchbooks, the illustrations, and there it's been undisturbed. Everywhere he went, he took his sketchbook, he took a notepad, and you'll see here, um, torn out sheets from sketch pads, from books, even little notebooks. Can you see the connection between his work during the First World War and what we would know of him in later years, I in Children's Illustrator? I do think that the First World War um, artwork did influence what went afterwards. He has to do things very quickly. He hasn't got time and we know that he just pulls out the notebook and just sketches with a very, very short time span. I think if you think to Winnie the Pooh in particular, some of the drawings, perhaps if you can imagine Eeyore, when you just see four paws upside down in the water and you know immediately what it is, but it's just a few lines. And I think he got that speed, that quickness from his experiences um, on the front line in the First World War. When the war ended in 1918, Shepard found work as a cartoonist for the satirical magazine Punch. And it was while working there that he first began collaborating with A.A. A. Milne, who would soon go on to write Winnie the Pooh. Helen Wallasek is the archivist for Punch magazine, where Pooh first appeared. Tell me about the development of Winnie the Pooh and his bear. Well, it said that the character of Winnie the Pooh actually appears as early as 1913 in one of Shepard's cartoons for Punch and it was actually the bear was based on his own son Graham's bear who was known as Growler. Uh -huh. the, the children called him Growler because when he laid down he growled which is a delightful thing to do you see. He was very superior bear. In fact uh, I've never seen a bear like him. But Growler's transformation into Winnie the Pooh wouldn't begin until 1924 when Shepard began collaborating with A.A. Milne on the When We Were Very Young poems for Punch magazine. One of the poems which Shepard illustrated was Edward Bear. Teddy Bear was the name of the poem and it was a feature of the character of Edward Bear, which is really, you can see, it's Winnie the Pooh. There was a phenomenal success, it was a new partnership and of course eventually the new partnership of Mill and Shepherd went on to publish Winnie the Pooh. So what happened when A.A. Mill realised that the reaction was so positive, he then invited Shepherd right here to these beautiful woods. Yes, it's 500 acre woods, which of course Milne called 100 acre woods. You can really get the feeling though that Winnie and his friends would be tootling around here. Yes, it's still the enchanted place that uh, Shepherd recorded in his drawing so accurately. Shepard's great talent was to capture the childlike spirit in the world around him. In the First World War, he found light in the darkness of the trenches, but it was here, in the 500 acre wood, that he was inspired to create the timeless illustrations which have amused and delighted people ever since. You do have the most beautiful tone. Yeah, you? lovely. Uh, well, from Pooh Bear to Pudsy Bear, because uh, 